Hi there, and welcome to part two. So we finished the last video with this list of predictions, predicting what the labels for the input data should look like. And what we'll do now is generate the true labels for our input data. So each label, as we've seen, should have two values. So underneath your input data here, let's type in O data equals numpy.random.randn batch size O nodes. So similarly to our input data, this will give us a matrix with eight rows and two columns, eight separate labels in one single batch. So now that we've produced these predicted labels, we want to compare the true labels to the predictions to see how bad our network's predictions were. So we want to quantify our predictions accuracy. And the simplest way to do that is simply to subtract the, t the true labels from the predicted. So type in O data predictions minus O data. And let's print the result out there. Run the file again. So the closer these values are to zero, the more accurate that, predic that particular prediction was, right? Now let's say we want to exaggerate the bigger differences here to really penalize a major error. So one way to do this is to square the difference. And we do that in NumPy by writing in numpy.square. And then what we want to square, we put in brackets. So print that out again. You can press command enter to, to run the file there. So as you can see, there are some more significant errors registered here. Conveniently, these are also now all positive values because what would be really useful is to get a total value expressing the extent of the errors the network made across all its predictions. And if we sum together all of these individual differences, we will have that value. And that's super easy to do in NumPy. We just add at the end of that bracket, dot sum, and then an open and close brackets. So print that out again. And this value here, this represents or summarizes the extent of the network's failure at effective prediction. We call this value here the loss. And the function that gave us this value the loss function. So let's just give that a proper name like this. This is a crucial element to a neural network because it provides a yardstick that we can then use to, to quantitatively improve the network's predictions. Because by reducing this loss value, we improve our network. And in order to reduce this loss value, we manipulate the only values that we can alter in our network. These are the values in our weights matrices. It's no good manipulating the input data as it comes in or the true labels. We want to manipulate only the values in our weights matrices. And the process of improving the network's predictions by making variations to these values, this is the heart of machine learning. The next couple of videos will demonstrate for you the, the process that allows the network to automatically determine what values will produce the lowest possible loss value and therefore the best possible predictions. So stay tuned for part three. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.